Hello guys and welcome to another lesson. Today I want to share with you this very easy to play but also very beautiful melody and chord progression. This one is great if you're a complete beginner. I used to give this little piece to my students who are at the very beginning stage of learning how to play finger style guitar. In the first part of the video you will learn a great finger picking pattern and how to apply it to the chord progression. In the second part of the video I'll show you how to play the melody. If you have a friend who's also learning how to play guitar, you can learn both parts and then play together, alternating between melody and the chords. If you are learning on your own, you can use the backing tracks that you can find in the description of this video by supporting my channel or simply play along with me. So let's get started. In order to learn the song, we will only need four easy chords with fancy names. C major 7, A7 sus2, F major 7 sharp 11, and G6 chord. Don't get bothered by their fancy names, these chords are actually very easy to play. The main tip here is that our middle finger is going to be playing the same note throughout the whole song. Second fret of the D string. So make sure to keep your middle finger always at the same place. For the C major 7 chord we will be using our ring finger on the 3rd fret A string and the middle finger is always playing on the 2nd fret of the D string and then G and B strings open for the A7 sus2 chord we will only need our middle finger at the 2nd fret of the D string and the A string is open G and B strings are open as well the F major 7 sharp 11 chord is played like this. So we will need to play with our index finger the first fret of the low E string, then the second fret of the D string, and then G and B are open. And finally the G6 chord, ring finger on the 3rd fret of the low E string, 2nd fret of the D string, G and B open. The finger picking pattern that we will be using today is a very popular pattern for playing finger style guitar. We will repeat the same pattern throughout the whole song with very little changes so it's very easy to learn and remember. So the pattern is thumb, index, middle, index and always repeating. Thumb, index, middle, index. Thumb, index, middle, index. The only thing here is that the thumb will be alternating between two different strings and the index and the middle fingers will always be playing on G and B strings. Let me show you using the first chord of the progression. So we play thumb, index, middle, index, thumb, index, middle, index. And notice that for the first chord our thumb will be alternating between the A and D strings and the index finger is playing on the G string and middle finger always on the B string. So thumb, index, middle, index, thumb, index, middle, index. For the next chord the pattern is exactly the same. Now for the next two chords, the only thing that is going to change is that the thumb now will be alternating between the low E and the D strings. The rest of the pattern remains the same. Thumb, index, middle, index, thumb, index, middle, index. And then G6 chord, exactly the same. Thumb, index, middle, index, thumb, index, middle, index. And now let me show you the whole thing played slowly so you can understand the structure and practice along with me. One, two, three, four.
So at the end we just strum the A7 sus2 chord. In order to play this easy melody, as a beginner you can use only one finger of your left hand, for example the first finger. And for the right hand, experiment with resting your thumb on the A string for example and use your index or middle finger to play the melody on the E string. So the whole melody is played on the E string, on the high E string and let me show you how to play it. So we start on the 12th fret, then 10th fret, 7th fret and 3rd fret. So it goes like the first part. Then you repeat the same part, but instead of going to the 3rd fret, you just stay on the 7th. And for the second part of the melody, we start on the 3rd fret, then open E string, then 7, then 5, 3, open, and then you end on the 12th fret. So the second part of the melody goes like this, 1, 2, 3, 4. Thank you very much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and found this useful and please help me by supporting my channel and subscribing and smashing that like button and now I'll let you guys practice and see you in my next videos.